The Midwest Old Threshers Reunion is an annual steam show in Mount Pleasant, Iowa, featuring the mighty machines of America's past live and in operation for thousands of spectators to enjoy. The five-day reunion, held before and on Labor Day, attracts visitors from across the United States, with many returning each year, continuing a family tradition that has spanned generations. Each year, train enthusiasts also travel to Old Threshers, thanks to the two railroad attractions on the grounds running each day. In this program, we explore the operations on the Midwest Central Railroad and Midwest Electric Railway for four days of the 2023 event. The Midwest Central Railroad operates narrow-gauge steam and diesel trains around the main Old Threshers grounds in Mount Pleasant's McMillan Park. In 1960, a group of Old Threshers members started the railroad as its own separate organization and quickly purchased two steam locomotives to restore and operate on the grounds. The determination of the railroad's founders produced solid results early on, and just months later, Midwest Central's first operable steam engine ran on a short segment of track at the 1960 Old Threshers reunion. Within just a couple years, volunteers completed a full one and one quarter mile loop of track around the park, a line that continues to this day. More locomotives, passenger cars, and other equipment followed in subsequent years, and today the railroad boasts a generous amount of volunteers that keep the trains running, not just for the reunion, but for other events held throughout the year as well, making the railroad a prominent, permanent attraction of Mount Pleasant. The first locomotive that operated on the Midwest Central Railroad is also the railroad's oldest and most treasured steam engine, number six, dating back to 1891 as a product of the Baldwin Locomotive Works. This 260 Mogul locomotive was built for the Surrey, Sussex, and Southampton Railway of Virginia and was later transferred to the Argent Lumber Company to run on their line in South Carolina. This is where the Midwest Central found the locomotive and purchased it and another mogul, number two, after the lumber company ceased operations in the mid-1950s. Originally a wood burner and also burning coal for a period, number six was converted to burn oil after a major overhaul by the Midwest Central in the 70s and 80s. Another locomotive running at the 2023 reunion is Engine D9, one of the railroad's two diesel hydraulic switchers built by the Plymouth Locomotive Works in 1956. D9 has been on the Midwest Central property for nearly 30 years, but was just recently restored to operation in 2021. The engine was repainted into a gray and orange livery honoring Carbon Limestone, the locomotive's original owner, that operated it and a number of other diesels on its line in Pennsylvania through the 80s. The carbon limestone trackage was a 38-inch gauge, which required D9 and its sister 14 to be re-gauged once arriving in Mount Pleasant to operate on Midwest Central's 36-inch track. We'll see quite a bit of D9 during this year's reunion as one of two main locomotives running on the railroad.
Midwest Central's trackage surrounding its shops offers a glimpse of the other pieces of equipment, including more locomotives that are on the property. The railroad has a number of freight cars, including boxcars, flat cars, and cabooses from various narrow gauge lines across the U.S. Out front, we see locomotive 14, the sister to D9 from Carbon Limestone. 14 has operated regularly here for many years, and switches the yard and fills in pulling trains as necessary. Also on a siding is another steam locomotive, West Side Lumber No. 9, built in 1923 by the Lima Locomotive Works. This was one of many Shea-geared steam engines operating at Westside's California logging camps through the 60s and was purchased and moved to the Midwest Central in 1966. After a number of years of operation in Mount Pleasant, No. 9 took up residency in Colorado in 2011 for seven years to run trains on the Georgetown Loop Railroad. Returning to Iowa in 2019, Nine operated at two more Old Threshers reunions in 2019 and 2021, before being sidelined for future boiler repairs. Other locomotives on the grounds, including German Tank Engine 16, a Mexican steam locomotive number one, as well as Argent Lumber Company numbers one and two, are in various stages of assessment and restoration progress. The South Station is a modern structure that features a long boarding platform, passenger waiting areas, as well as two siding tracks inside for train storage. The Midwest Central's Red Caboose gift shop is also located here, offering a full array of train-related gifts and souvenirs. Passengers can board the trains at the South Station and ride to the other end of the line. We're a few cars back on a train pulled by steam engine number six as we head towards the North Depot. Along the way, we'll be passing many other attractions running daily at the Old Threshers reunion.
We've arrived at the North Station, part of Old Thresher's popular North Village, a replica town taking visitors back to the Wild West days. The station building is an authentic structure moved here from Hillsborough, Iowa in the early days of the Midwest Central. Horse barns are on the west side of the Old Thresher's grounds, an area we just passed while riding the trains up to the North Village. One of the main events at the reunion is a draft horse pull held in front of the grandstands, and a number of the horses you'll see here participate, demonstrating their pulling abilities that once powered most farm work in the United States until the arrival of traction engines and tractors in the early 20th century. The draft horse pull was, for many years, the final event at the Old Thresher's reunion held on Labor Day. In recent years, the poll has been moved to Wednesday, the day before the first full day of events, and is now the official start to reunion festivities on the grounds.
It's easy to spend a lot of time up here around the North Village at Old Threshers, but we've got a lot more to see, so it's time to hop back on the train for the remainder of our trip along the Midwest Central Railroad. Number 6 will take us back around to the South Station as we travel along the east edge of McMillan Park. Arriving back at the South Station, we can see countless traction engines and tractors that are operating each year at Old Threshers. The Cavalcade of Power Parade, held at noon Thursday through Sunday, showcases each piece in detail as their operators parade them by the grandstands for spectators. The rest of the time, visitors can walk through this extensive area and get an up-close look at the machines as they're displayed. Adjacent to the South Station, Old Threshers has a pair of museum buildings filled with exhibits about farm life and rural towns in the 19th and 20th centuries and are open year-round. During the reunion, the center of the buildings are filled with vendors and crafts and some feature additional areas that come to life. One of these is the steam powerhouse featuring many large stationary engines. These engines were used to power machinery, generate electricity, and perform other tasks in the advent of the Industrial Revolution and through the 20th century. Like everything else at Old Threshers, volunteers have lovingly restored these engines to like new condition. And every so often, they offer lectures on how they run and where they originally operated. A new addition to the powerhouse is a replica of one of the first successful steam engine designs built by Thomas Newcomen in the 18th century. His engine was mainly used to pump water out of English coal mines, a feature demonstrated with the old Thresher's replica. Injection, naturally aspirated injection, I guess you call it. This would have been installed in the back of the house Drag line house, you can see the picture of efficiency possible from the engine. He did that with four valves, two on top of the cylinder and two down below, each one individually controlled. So the steam valves, in order to do that, he used a, a center. South of the museums is the Old Threshers Campgrounds, and circling them is the Reunion's other railroad, the Midwest Electric Railway. Midwest Electric is operated by the Old Threshers Association, with volunteers running a varied collection of different standard gauge trolleys and streetcars that operated in the United States and around the world. Passengers can board the trolleys at the Main Depot, a former railroad station from Yarmouth, Iowa, and ride for a complete round trip. Along the way, many people choose to get off at the Log Village, with campers using the other local stations to more closely reach their campsites.
Let's get a taste of a round-trip ride on the Midwest Electric aboard Streetcar 1945. This car was built in 1927 and operated in Milan, Italy before arriving in Mount Pleasant in the early 2000s. It's a fine example of the Peter Witt car design that was used around the world. Old Thresher's visitors leave the Midwest Electric here at the Log Village, a popular area of living history where volunteers bring to life a replica 1850s town that one could have seen on the American frontier at the time. Like the main depot, there are two platforms here to accommodate trolleys stopping to let off passengers and then moving forward to pick up more. After the log village, there are three more stops throughout the campgrounds before the line climbs back up to the main depot. Trackside south of the main depot, we can see the heavy grade we just traveled up on Streetcar 1945. Behind us, the trolleys stop to let passengers off at one of the south walk-in gates to Old Threshers.
past the main depot, trolleys begin their journeys towards the log village through the campgrounds. At this vantage point, we see all trolleys that were in operation at the 2023 reunion. This includes streetcar 1945 and open-air trolley 1718 that we've already seen, as well as Chicago Aurora and Elgin interurban car 320 and Southern Iowa Railway streetcar number 9. This is the first time car 9 has operated at Old Threshers in many years. The Midwest Electric Railway is a fantastic trip back in time, representing the countless cities across the country that once had trolley systems such as this. Now it's time to head back into the Old Threshers grounds for more attractions. As we walk away from the Midwest Electric's main depot, we make a stop at the carousel known as the Smile Machine, a well-loved Old Threshers attraction that's over 100 years old. The carousel has been in operation at Old Threshers for decades and moved here to its permanent structure in the early 2000s. Before that, it operated outside on the north end of the grounds. The Smile Machine is a steam-powered carousel with an adjacent steam engine powering the track machine underneath. <laughs> We're back along the Midwest Central Railroad for one last look at this year's operations as engines 6 and D9 continue to pull trains around the grounds.
Near the North Village and train station is the gas engines area, featuring hundreds of small hit-and-miss engines on display. Providing an example as to how these engines were used, several are set up to operate a special display running at the reunion, using classic machinery to demonstrate how cornmeal was processed on the farm.
firing workshop all the time. All year round, we didn't even care from July 4th. We just did it. With fantastic weather all five days, another year at Old Threshers has come to a close, and we can take home more great memories we made in 2023. Whether you come as a rail fan or as a casual visitor wanting to take in all the sights, there's no doubt that the trains and trolleys rank high on Old Threshers' most popular attractions that encourage people to return to the reunion again and again. This is Bobby Harvey, and I thank you for coming along with me this year as I filmed along the Midwest Central Railroad and Midwest Electric Railway. And as always, I'll see you next year.